cooking. I forgot what it's called. <laughs> Sausage. Rolly. <laughs> Sausage rolly poly is what we're making. You're an expert at this, aren't you? So you'll be able to remember, hopefully, how you make it all. Now, what we've got here is we've got a packet of sausages. I've taken all the skin off. If you don't want to get too messy or anything like that, then you I can didn't just... Like it. No, you didn't like it. Then you can just snip the, the skins off the sausages or you could just buy sausage meat. Mm -hmm. um, about 500 grams you would need. Table we have got my special tablespoon. Because um, your grandma gave it to our grandma and our grandma gave it to you. She did. That was very old. It yes. used to be shiny. It did. It used to have silver on it, didn't it? Do you want to do yeah, so two tablespoons it. of um, tomato puree for me? It's like tomato sauce. It is, yeah. See if you can squeeze that in. What other recipes do you need this? You need it in lots of things. You need it in pizza. We could do pizza one day, couldn't we? I did pizza at school when I was in reception. Is it nice? The mixture was very sticky. Was it? Right, I think that's enough, thank you. So we've got two tablespoons of tomato puree going into our sausages. And then would you mind snipping in, oh, snipping in those um, three spring onions for us, please, Sadie? Mm -hmm. You don't have to use spring onion, you can um, leave them out altogether, or you could put in other things as well. What else could you put in, do you think, Sadie? Tomato sauce. We've put tomato sauce in. Mm -hmm. Maybe you could put, um, some chopped up apple maybe. Carrots. Chopped up carrots, very tiny. You could put some chopped up peppers in, couldn't you? Tomato. Yeah, maybe. Chocolate. But we're putting... Can you put chocolate in? Uh, I don't think I would put chocolate in. Oceans? No. <laughs> we're putting in spring onions just because we happen to have some in the fridge. Oh, I hate that now. <laughs> it's sage. I'm going to put some sage in, I'm going to put salt and pepper and I'm going to put a little pinch of hot chilli powder as well. A tiny pinch because we don't want it too hot for you, do we? Okay, we'll tip all that in. Do you want to finish snipping and I'll do a bit of mixing? Good snipping. Now, can you remember what else we need in here? I'm a bit worried about the final ingredient. An egg. I'm going to crack that for us. Let's see if you can do it. So we're going to tap, tap until we get the little Maybe crack. It's strong. A little bit more, maybe. Maybe. And then what do you do? You get your thumbs into the crack. Glitter <laughs> <Little> over. <laughs> Hopefully not. That's it, clever girl. Whoa! All in? Perfect. Put your shell in there for us. And then you're going to use the fork to whisk it up so it looks a bit like scrambled eggs. Mm. Start stirring that for me, Sadie. And I'm going to add about half of this one large egg. And this is just to bind it. I'll add it because we want to reserve half of it for painting over. So we just need to mix it all together now, don't we? You can do this with your hands if you want, Sadie. No, you don't like doing that, do you? But you I can do it with your hands, it's I only good. like getting messy with Play-Doh or egg. Give it a really good stir. That noise is <laughs> very weird. You're doing a good job though, Sadie. It's nearly mixed, I think. <laughs> I think you're ready. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just move that out of your way. <laughs> It is that, that's what we're going to use now. We are going to use one pack of puff pastry. Let's move that back a little. Can you sprinkle some plain flour down for us then? I think 
table's gonna get messy now. Do you want to do some rolling for us? You need big muscles for this, I think. Have you got big muscles? Yes. I hug people so tight. You're strong, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me when you think it's a big enough square. Uh, no. <laughs> I think it's not quite, so I'll just make it a bit bigger for you. Sadie's just recovering. Right, we now have a rectangle about the same size as our baking sheet, I guess. <laughs> Which is lucky, because that's what we're going to put it on. So we're going to spoon all the sausage mixture down the middle, but we're going to leave a gap at the top and the bottom. So that we can fold it over easily and seal in the ends and with a knife I'm just going to score where I want Sadie to cut I'm just doing diagonal strips not too hard not too hard because you're going to cut them with the pizza cutter make sure they're the same amount on each side well remembered Sadie because what we're we going to do next we are going to hairdress it not on haircuts. <laughs> yeah, we're going to plait it, aren't we? Lovely. I'll turn it around so you can do them ones now. All done. That was good cutting, Sadie. Right, Sadie, you're going to use some of this egg to just paint all over the pastry for us. And then when we plait it, when we hairdress it, it will hopefully help it to stick in position. So we only need a thin layer. So spread it out nice and thinly. <laughs> Use it like a paintbrush. Mm. That's it, good girl. I'm gonna do the other side. Good job, we're ready for the next part, I think. What we're going to do is we're going to fold in each end. Do you want to fold in that end for me and I'll fold in this end. And then I'm going to just snip these extra bits off so it's not too thick, the pastry at the end. What should we do with those extra bits, do you think, Zayda? Uh, decorations! Yeah, decorations. No cards and flowers and things. We're going to pull over. One strip from that side, all the way over to the middle. When we do the first one and then you'll remember how to do it. No gaps. Well remembered. And it's really easy, you just need to do one from one side and then one from the other side, don't you? Yep. <laughs> some hearts and flowers as requested. Want any more? Yep. And the very last thing to do is just to paint all over with the egg. Oven. It will, won't it? That's what the egg wash is for, is just to make it go a nice colour in the oven. Yes. Perfect. Look at that. Right, little ballerina. What do we think? Is that ready? Put it in the oven. Yep, yeah, we're going to put it in the oven at 180 degrees.
for about 40 to 45 minutes until it goes golden brown. And then we will be able to taste it. The sausage roly poly is out of the oven. Time for the taste. Mm -hmm. That's really good. I have to remade it because it's so good.